What's up, my fellow Arians? Uh, this is Soul. And Aries, this is your two-week messages uh, beginning September 25th through October 8, 2017. The messages will also be for Aries Moon and Aries Rising. Okay, my fellow Aries, I hope that uh, all is doing well. This seems like more continuance of positive energy because I know I just did your uh, general love and that was like completely flawless. So I think that this might be part of that energy that is continuing for some of you this upcoming week. But we're going to start because uh, I'm getting another stellar um, feel here about something good, good things happening. King of Pentacles is representing the energy as the overall two week and it's in the upright. So this is like Aries possibly wanting to whatever area that you're um, trying to move into in terms of uh, stability and security. Uh, this might be with a relationship. This might be with securing a job, getting a promotion. Possibly the king comes in also representing female energy, if you um, if I may. And then um, two weeks of generosity, either either the generosity is coming towards you or you're it could be part of you giving out some sort of generosity. It doesn't always, re, you know, relate to finances. Generosity could extend out to you just, you know, giving yourself of time and somebody giving themselves of time for you. OK, so it could go both ways. This is a good two week period to apply for uh, credit as the creditors. This is the king. He's the creditor. Uh, will be generous and give you that extension if you're applying for credit, new credit, or whatever kind of credit you're, you're seeking. Also, too, this is the card of entrepreneurship. So some of, some of you may be wanting to venture out into doing your own thing in terms of making your own money. Uh, the king in the upright is just saying that the resources will be available if that's what you choose to do. Someone gets a job. Someone was looking for a job. King in the upright could indicate that someone has already received a job or promotion or some sort of bonus, good two week period to ask for favors within the workplace environment from your employers because they're gonna extend that generosity out towards you. Now I'm seeing that there is something that's coming up for some of you that's within this two week period of time that brings on the nine of cups energy. It's in the upright. So it crosses that king of pentacles. So somebody could possibly be happy and uh, emotionally, yeah, not only emotionally happy, but content because they landed that promotion. They landed that job that they were looking for. Or it could have been that they ventured out into the uh, entrepreneurial uh, area or arena. And then you're glad that you did because the nine of cups is indicating the good emotions and feels. Cups also represents children for me. So it might be some sort of indication of children being involved Um in some sort of way, not necessarily t tied to any financial things, but I feel that there's something going on probably in the weeks, two week period of time, something going on with children of Aries that brings on emotional happiness and contentment. This is uh, the yes card or yes answer to any romantic questions that you may have. I equate this nine of cups in the upright. Um, as you know, with that of the star card, you know, hopes, dreams and wishes being fulfilled. OK, so just think of it that way. Love could possibly be in the air. A new relationship develops, possibly because the nine of cups is crossing the king of pentacles. I might be talking to an Aries or two who is either going to get into a relationship or has already started a relationship, possibly with a water sign or it could be an earth sign. But, you know, as I always say, it could be with any zodiac sign. Five of Swords follows the Nine of Cups. So this is good. In the reverse, that's ending of a conflict. Because it follows the Nine of Cups relationship-wise, I'm getting, it may be the ending of some sort of conflict um, directly related to a love relationship or, you know, this is a general reading, so it could be a friendship or some other kind of uh, relationship that you may have been having some sort of conflict with. Five is in the reverse, is ending of those conflicts. The swords, G uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, may be part of the exchanges, but it, whatever it is, is ending of some sort of conflict. And I just happen to take a glance here uh, and looking out, because I just usually shuffle and then flip the cards over and then begin the reading, but the Wheel of Fortune is here, and then you have the Fool card in the upright. So these are two, three, actually the High Priest. 
All right, so you have three major arcanas coming in here. This is all positive. With the Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles, I'm jumping around a bit, the Wheel of Fortune, the uh, Fool card, which is in the upright, and then the High Priest, and then the last card that I have for you for your two-week period is the Four of Wands, which is your energy. So this uh, Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana, is showing up that there's good luck and good fortune coming to some Aries. Uh, within this two week period of time now this is a you know a gambling car so you know if you gamble gamble responsibly uh, you could you know hit the lottery but don't get ridiculous ridiculous meaning don't take the uh, house note or the car note to put it all on the powerball thinking that you're going to hit because remotely you're not going to do it but anyway there might be some more you know some little luck coming into you where it's uh, money involved and then it could be because it's the wheel and the number 10 Following the fives, ending of conflict, changes, fives and tens always represent changes. Good fortune comes in. It may be because it's mirroring mirroring the nine of cups that a relationship uh, begins. Maybe there's a turn of events or some sort of, um, think of the wheel as just turning. And wherever you land on that wheel is where, you know, the energy is going to uh, arise. But it could be that there was a relationship that may have been a part of some sort of conflict in the energy. And then there's a change or a status in that. But it's for the better or it's positive energy, at least what I'm picking up uh, at this moment. Then someone, if it is related to the King of Pentacles and you guys want to venture out into doing your own thing in terms of your business, the full card shows up to say, hey, take that leap of faith. The universe is here to support you. OK, this is the card of adventure. So some of you are feeling or might be wanting to be adventurous. OK, this could be, you know, with a new relationship. It sits underneath the nine of cups. Take that check. This is a risk taking card. So take the chance. Take that leap of faith. You're supported. OK. And then someone wants to venture out into uh, or not really venture out, but someone wants to tackle or take on some type of new adventures related to their uh, life in general. OK, something doing something completely different because uh, this is all about new things. Are beginning new things okay and then you have no fear so you're you're you know with the uh blindfold on you just going out there and 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 you know not necessarily throwing caution to the wind but you're taking a risk in the uh, reverse this full car would be that you're a little bit hesitant or not so much into risk taking this is the card of taking risk and believing that whatever it is that you venture out uh, towards or take a risk upon that it will come to you or manifest your way high priest is showing up for uh, teaching and learning so there might be with the pen, you know the king of pentacles showing up here uh, aries someone being trained for possibly a new job this is a partnership card also the um, high priest represents uh, taurus so there might be again exchanges with um, those earth signs Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female, but also too, it comes in. I feel that it's to keep the faith. Okay, if you're if you're venturing out onto something completely new, starting something new, the high priest comes in to say maintain the faith. Okay, it's going to work out. Whatever it is that you're trying to do. All right, four of wands. Someone's thinking about moving, relocating. Someone's thinking about cohabitating, shacking up. The heart is here. I'm looking at a couple. Uh, the Four of Wands is always about a structure of a home or building or a relocation to a different area, but it's a positive card. And it also is representing your energy and that energy of Sagittarius and Leo. All right. Someone wants to move in. Someone is thinking about moving away, purchasing a home, possibly. So that's the four of wands energy. So it's, it's all good. It's really all good. And it sits underneath the uh, world card. So there's some sort of fortune about to take place. Some sort of fortunate event. With the king of pentacles, nine of cups, the will of fortune, the full card, the high priest. This is also, like I said, teaching and learning. Someone is being possibly trained for a future position. Uh, keeping the faith. Someone. This is also a marriage card. So I don't know if there's an Aries that I'm reading for that might... Take the plunge with the nine of cups uh, coming in. And then we have the uh, four of wands as cohabitation that someone gets married. Diag yeah, diagonally, it is the nine of cups 
the high priest and the four of wands. So you can't get no better than that. Also, um, oh, okay. All right, I'm hearing somebody's getting a job. Somebody's getting a promotion. Somebody's getting a, uh, could be a bonus, a pay raise commission. Maybe this is why the nine of cups is following that king of pentacles because it's going to bring in some sort of emotional happiness and fulfill, fulfill excuse me, emotional happiness and fulfillment for you contentment the five of swords is possibly an ending of some sort of conflict if you were out and about looking for a job or looking if you currently were working and you wanted to transition into a new job or a new position then it's the ending of that conflict as well all right so aries this is the uh conclusion of your reading and the blue uh, angel oracle card that i have selected for you is wings of light now underneath the wings of light, you may not be able to see it because of the glare of the lights that I have. It says positive news. So this is a two week period where someone is going to be receiving some sort of positive news or some sort of positive news is coming. I don't know if that's related to a new job or promotion or whatever. Bosses are being generous. So ask for those favors this upcoming week. But I'm going to read you exactly what it says about this card that I have selected uh, for you to complement your reading. And again, it could be just a message for those who need to hear the message and may not have nothing to do with the uh, messages above for the next two weeks. But I highly, highly doubt it. Anyway, Aries, Wings of Light says a positive result or a joyful message arrives and brightens your day. That's the emotional happiness and contentment of the Nine of Cups. Once you receive it, you may want to pause for a moment to reflect on the people and things that matter most to you. Thank the universe for these gifts of love, friends, family, community, country, world, universe. Is it not all important? Is it not all a blessing? So this is your oracle card to complement your reading. All right. Kudos, Aries. I hope this uh, energy potentially opens up for some of you. Okay. Until I talk to you again, wishing you all a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead, emphasizing safety as I always do, sending out a lot of love and light to you. Till I talk to you again, Aries. Take care. Bye.